Okay, so this is Congo with the head and my name is Koji Sheldon. Now, this conversation is very important to me and to the culture because uh, the space we did inside right now before Evolve, what I say, and when it comes to video content and whatnot. Now, the person I'm going to have the conversation with, you know, he's one of the finest video producers, video content producers in the country. Very young guy and he just won't challenge the status quo. He's had problems with people that... You know, they won't accept the fact that this is where we are supposed to be and all those things. And he's contributed a lot when it comes to visuals. Uh, he's worked on some of the finest music videos that you've seen on your screens. And currently, he has a line of content out that is, I mean, out there to promote emerging artists, like shooting original content and all those things. So it makes sense, say, I will carry him come, then he will come explain what this thing is about. And also, we will talk about him beef with Shatawale. Yes, I mean, you know I like violence. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, David Nicose, boss man. Bachoga. It's not about me. Chief, oh God. Everything cool. So yes, this is the person I'm talking about. <laughs> you see the three music hour, the uh, video production, or this is the brain behind it. So you people know where this conversation is heading towards and all this. But boss man, how far? Charlie with them, bro. Right, right, what to change? Oh, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to change. Oh, Charlie. But I just want to say, say, we appreciate what you are doing in the industry. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. The, the kind of content you are putting out, some of us, we look up to you and the fact that the standard you carry come, some of us, we try. But we know you... Charlie, I'll be humbled. Yeah, so you, humbled. You did do humble. But humbled. How, how far? How how it is? Charlie... Before you talk about... Charlie, with the inside, you mm. know, say, like, right now, mm -hmm. with the... Like the industry, mm -hmm. they see some growth, mm -hmm. and then we also they try to contribute on a little quota to whatever they happen to okay. make sure that at least we're able to create like the right value proposition for the the, the creative economy okay. in that sense. So, Charlie, with the inside, yeah, you can shut our also. Oh, <laughs> Shata, they're my best friend. Oh. You know me, serious. <laughs> Shata, my best friend. Yeah, but, but I mean, what happened? That conversation about, I mean, us having a standard for music video mm -hmm. and him coming, that mm -hmm. kind of rebuttal mm -hmm. and all those things. You had a back and forth with him and mm -hmm. all those things. How was it like? I think first and foremost, it'd be misunderstanding, right? Okay. So it'd be perspective. Okay. So me, for me, I feel, say, one, the... When the industry itself it is suffer. Okay. So if you have someone as influential as Shut That Way, if they give comments about the industry, I they expect at least it will be positive, small. Okay. Reason being that we all know the struggle. Mm -hmm. But then you for bear in mind, say other young people to look up to you way, other uh, uh, investors to the way then they will look at people like Shata and they 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 take them as credible sources. Okay. So if someone like Shata come we say, oh, Charlie, the industry, our don't even invest into music videos. Mm -hmm. Don't invest into your career. Bear in mind, the same success you enjoy be through the same thing. So okay. me, mine was my disagreement be mm -hmm. at least motivate the industry. Make we see some investment because the same artists they talk to the industry, not the support. Mm -hmm. So if you yourself, you know, they really speak positively about the industry. How do they expect say the government go put in some policy we go support or some investor we go put in money go like invest obviously it could be like ah if the biggest artist for Ghana, Ghana mm -hmm. one of the biggest artists for Ghana say ah the industry be our then we all will go honk mm -hmm. everybody else we if, if they try venture into this space it will be our mm -hmm. so for me I was trying to at least correct him in terms of the state I know the hustle mm -hmm. but then I, I feel say he could have said it better okay in that sense okay. really when it comes to audiovisual content yeah where how or where do you rate this industry we're far behind wow very 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 far mm -hmm. the reason being till today we know if you do anything with and do in the 80s in terms of movies music videos right so people like we we just they try we they learn we still they learn where we really won't grow the industry okay. so we for me as uh, in my in my personal opinion i feel say we day back mm -hmm. we will for really improve okay. really Okay, now let's get back to um, yeah. the main reason why we are Look Now. Did yeah. I get the name correct? Yes, Look Now. Yeah. What is it about? So basically, Look Now is, is a platform mm -hmm. to basically encourage the Ghanaian industry and Africa at large, right? Mm -hmm. We do look at a platform where we really want to, to, to spotlight artists with them be so dope with them will be saturated in the industry like i mean commercial artists okay. so a typical example would be someone like chrissy j an okay. amazing artist mm -hmm. but this will be the kind of artist where we could term as commercial but this guy be a crossover artist 
So the good thing is I did listen songs for SoundCloud where I find them. I was like, ah, this big Ghana guy. So upon 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 research, I realized that ah, the guy began and guy. Why reach out to him and then my and say, ah, like I have this show called Look Now. It's called the House Show actually, okay. and the Look Now. So Look Now is a brand name, okay. but then we're looking at different um, uh, um, content underneath the brand. So okay. the first show is a musical performance show called The House. Okay. So it's basically you as an artist walking into a house and performing your original song okay. because I wanted it to feel very homey okay. and very uh, and very comfortable in the sense that mm -hmm. the artist could feel really really put in them at all mm -hmm. in terms of like the, the my music okay. and then make the audience also see that uh, there's a lot of passion these artists they bring mm -hmm. you know Bob? so basically that be that be that be that be that be why we start look okay. now and it's been we it's, it's been it's been an idea we we've been working on for the past three years okay okay reason being that i've been in the industry for over 10 plus years that's what yeah. a lot of people do not know okay. uh, and i realized that one we don't have content and the few people within they try really support the industry they've all given up because the industry no be encouraging enough. Okay. So my partner and I were like, oh, why don't we create a platform mm -hmm. to really encourage and okay. build the next generation of artists? Because I feel, see, in this day and age, music has grown. Okay. From 2019, there's, there's the, there was a paradigm shift in the industry where now music and uh, f uh, films went high because there was a demand because of COVID. Yeah. And we, right, you see, say now the Nigerian uh, brothers really opened the industry. They've broken a lot of entry barriers, making making the music industry a viable and a bankable one. Yeah. So I'm like, why don't we also try and push the Ghanaian artists, okay. right? From we don't care your background, where you from, but we really want to say now we want to make you the the audience focus on your talent, okay. because I tire the the whole idea where. It be about poverty, poor poverty. They need, mm. right? But I feel say, yeah, it they need. But yeah. I feel say, mm. artists get story then go talk. Yeah, we poverty be a constant in every African in life. Me and you are with the tire. Yes, yeah, but yeah, 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 you see, but we for fee change the narrative and really let people know the story. Because mm -hmm. some people get broken hearts, then for fee get songs for that. Yeah, some people they tire. We for fee get songs for that. Okay. Some people too want something aspirational. We yeah. for fee give them. So mm -hmm. basically. Look now is to bridge that gap where it's fundamentally focused on only one type of genre and then one type of story. But right now, we want it to be open enough so Charlie, a Chrissy J can sing about love songs. You know, Bob, uh, a Sina So can also sing about like being in a club and being in love at the same time. We have a quick smoke way. If he's free in mind, yeah. say nah. He be young kid, we really want to make the world to say nah, he's beyond just the the, the 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 notion and give them by a better rapper okay. you know about uh, an affair okay. um an rc um a uh, kirani ayat you know molly like yeah like yeah molly molly is an amazing artist yeah. right now molly molly is is international now yeah. and and i'm so glad and grateful that she was able to uh, grace us on look now so it's all love you know it's love but it's also to support what whatever is happening now how yeah. has been the reception do you feel like there are impediments or yeah, so th the thing is, we already understand that because we just started the show, it's going to be very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we had to really activate the brand, okay. but we wanted it to go organically. Because okay. the most important thing we say, we want it to be the truth. Okay. The artists, them are truth. It's not about us. Because the look now is look now is basically partnering with these artists. Mm -hmm. So these artists are giving us that grace in us to be able to create something to support whatever endeavors you're looking at in within the music space. Okay. So it's we wanted it to grow organically and then we wanted it to be about love okay. and about the talent really. Okay. Yeah. So um with the um I think recently yeah. you had an issue with I think people had a problem or an issue with the kind of people you are trying yeah. to work with. Yeah. And it became an issue. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. I read through the line. Yeah. What happened? Why so, are people mad? <laughs> I don't see, bro, like I reached out to a lot of artists, but they really don't get the big vision, you okay. know? Um, I really know they blame them because, like I said, it's a growing industry. So, like, people are not really educated in that sense. So, I reached out to a lot of artists. A lot of them rushed me. You know, some also wanted to make demands that, okay, if they come on my show, I need to shoot a music video for them and all. You get me? And I was like, nah, this is not about that. This is about us creating a platform together mm -hmm. as Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. This is not about me trying to butter trade. Nah, it's purely out of love. Mm -hmm. So, 
whoever came on on our show came out of love seeing mm -hmm. us so mm -hmm. came out of love and out of respect mm -hmm. uh, twitch came out of love out of respect uh, young dems molly all these other artists they came out of love and respect so i'm really grateful we're able to have them but bear might we reach out to other artists but them won't know see mm -hmm. because they want us to prove the idea okay. so yeah they're everywhere we did now so right now what if they won't come you will still have conversations oh no it's for the industry so okay. it's nothing personal but you have a you have um a criteria so the criteria is be dope as fuck what is be dope uh, be dope as fuck to no you? be amazing okay. I, I don't really care about whether it's an r b song a rap song a soul song a jazz song you have to be amazing you see the best thing we say you see in life you don't have to convince people you're great okay. let the let the work do the talking okay. you know Bob? so we are looking to collaborate with artists we like them be amazing okay. we it not be just me i go talk so this song be fire but everybody go feel test the fact that nah, there's something okay yeah so the criteria be that it be that be amazing and yeah. me, i know if you go i guess so, <laughs> i guess so, <laughs> you know the criteria be, be just amazing okay yeah but um 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 looking at how right now you host it on youtube yeah i know at some point yeah monetization and monetary compensation yeah. is going yeah. to come what is the plan like yeah. how is this thing going to be quantified monetary yeah. or whatever it is? Yeah. is it going to be sold to uh, mainstream media mm -hmm. is it going to be a social mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. or where is it going to be so used? for now because it's at the inception stage we're really looking at it from the social media perspective for now okay. and then whilst we grow we start to build in the the, the, the business structures so okay. for now bear in mind we're funding everything okay, so yeah. we funded from the closure when we reproduced all the songs all yeah. the songs mi mixed the mastered in south africa we also worked in collaboration with the the original producers as well mm -hmm. and then we also built all these sets were built yeah. actually so we spend a lot of money you get me and also the 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 artists are the owners of the soundtrack we don't own the soundtrack so so then how are you going to make them? Yeah, money? so basically what we're doing now, like I said, it came from a place of love, okay. not from a business perspective. So okay. our idea was like, let's challenge ourselves to build something, mm -hmm. right? So now what we're doing now is, okay, hey, the artists would own the soundtrack mm -hmm. and then it will give us authority on the soundtrack to be able to playlist for them. Okay. Also on the business edge, we're looking at running advertising okay. on our YouTube page, but this is going to be a long-term thing because it will take over a year to really build traction, yeah. right? And then they're, we're, they're all signing release forms to give us the authority to be able to to, to, to make our monies back in terms okay. of like ad making advertising revenue. Okay. So for now, we are basically sacrificing a lot to be able to bring the vision to fruition. Okay. Yeah, but the idea for Look now is to be able to build a platform where we can work hand in hand with labels. And then if your artists are looking to activate the brand, we can also try and help activate them onto the market basically. Okay. But globally you, globally okay. yeah do you have copyright issues with artists management distribution companies yeah so um so that's why we're, we're not trying to own the soundtrack so okay. when you own the soundtrack is when you have to deal with all these clients oh, no okay. the artist owns the copyright to their song okay. so they give us the authority to be able to use it for the visual purpose and nothing beyond that okay yeah but they own they own the soundtrack we don't own the soundtrack okay it's a different thing if we are trying to own the song okay yeah so but when so when you recreate the sound and you put it on your yeah. youtube platform you don't have yeah they own it 100 percent. Oh, okay so yeah so we only have rights to the youtube video that's it oh okay yeah all right but so where do we see luke now in that let's say the next five years so when, in the next five years we're looking at building one of the biggest entertainment companies in the world okay. that can match up to any global entertainment industry okay. um, but we can't do it alone we have to do with artists that are ready to build okay. um then again you have to look at ghana in the sense that mm -hmm. ghana is a growing industry where we need to build a few things first okay. now we have to look at the legal structures because once you understand the legal structures you are able to build the 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 the, co the financial assets okay. and the financial structures of the business because once you know okay these are the le legal implications you're able to quantify it yeah. to making it bankable in that sense mm -hmm. so right now we need to build human capital we need to build music executives mm -hmm. we also need to build a lot of young people who have imagination that's the most important thing you know kids who are brilliant in the sense that they want to be different not try to be like everybody else because I I've come to believe that everybody be unique in my own way but everybody gets in strength so right now we need to really build a lot of young creatives where everybody be unique but they are adding to the value of the creative industry it's not a selfish thing okay. because if we really want to build an industry a typical example is nigeria okay. nigeria is building capacity in the sense that now 
when you look at streaming, there's, there's a revenue model called the ProRota strategy where revenue is actually shared amongst amongst uh, um, 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 labels and artists based on your market share, not the number of um, streams you've made. So if a Drake, let's say they were the biggest uh, 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 label in the world, can promise in 1 million or in 2 million streams, either share with Drake. You get me? Yeah. So at this point, Ghanaians, we really need to build market share, which is the most important thing. And our Nigerian brothers, bro, like they're really doing amazing. So we also for learn from them. Bear in mind, we on our side as visual makers, we understand it from 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 a very minimal perspective, but we're not growing into it. So visually, you get to realize that Nigeria is climaxing because they, they're getting to see the value in branding. You know, brand equity is everything. So if you see a Rayma and you see Rayma has a bunch of dope ass videos, obviously if you did bid a deal with Rayma, you know they go tell him some yeah, amount yeah. now. Because he's already built the value aesthetically where if you as a brand, they approach him, you approach him from, yo, this is like an, a premium brand. So yeah. let's approach him with some sort of uh, 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 margin where they make sense, right? Mm -hmm. But then again, on our bid, you see our, 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 our major artist, Sarkozy is doing amazing, right? But I feel they can do better, mm -hmm. right? Shata, for instance, I, f I feel like at this point, him working with um, a Beyonce yeah. for Phoebe, uh, an advantage where it go climax in visuals because basically you, your value be how people they see you really you know they, nobody cares if you get money for look rich or you for you for look the part yeah. so me i feel like in music the best way is to showcase whatever you have as value okay. and then people take you serious okay. a typical example would be a drake right yeah. so drake had to climax on being the african-american street artist from um, Young Money yeah. to becoming a global pop star rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Why? How you do one? Simple. He had to shoot the right videos. Hotline Blink was his climax, and it gave him that prestige value. And then he started working with uh, Dave Myers, and then the video started elevate. So now you look at Drake, you're like, yo, this is a global star, and we need to approach him right. You, you did Bob. But imagine Drake still they shoot smart videos for Hood mm -hmm. inside. Yeah. In Canada or in America. Yeah. Nobody really go see in growth. Yeah. Everybody go see like, oh, nah, he's he's just static. Right? So I feel like we, like I said, it's a growing industry and we learn to learn, we need to learn all these basics. Okay. But do you, I mean, do you think it's, it can be fixed? Yeah, it can. Like, I, I believe in the young, young artists so much because then they dare to be different, okay. you know, like I can promise. Like if we see after a typical, like, let's see, the best example would be a Black Sharif. Okay. Yeah, he's been able to beat the odds where at the time you needed labels, you needed this, you needed that to become. But his music spoke for for itself. And now he's like a global superstar working with a Berna boy. And think about it. Berna is a global superstar and him gracing uh, a Black Sharif be blessing, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm so happy that at least these young kids are learning to thrive without the industry okay. by basically building their own systems and I, I wish them well okay yeah once again okay let me ask this question do you feel like more times say it be the music videos they come out in there in as much as that that said the artists get some contribution yeah sometimes let's say it be the director way it be like he's not exposed enough huh. can i speak for the directors yes <laughs> see um like I've also been struggling with the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. The problem be, when the directors they really try, you know why? Because okay. they work with nothing, almost nothing. Okay. Ninety percent okay. of the videos you they see, mm -hmm. I go bet you say the directors now nah, them are money where they inside to okay. get it done. Okay. Because the artists really know they understand why. Apart from a Sarkozy or Stone Boy, way they really reach that pedestal where they understand the value yeah, of visuals. Yeah, yeah. Most of these artists really know the bar. Okay. Then they look at them like, okay, are you the director? They give you money, go keep or take or buy a car. They know they see them as, you be your investment. If you shoot video, it be dope. It's if funny, you go yeah. chop <laughs> from body art till you die. <laughs> the, bar, the director, it's just a one-time fee to get your job done. So, you know, for me, I feel like from 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 knowing most of these directors, it'd be struggle. Mm. So I really do appreciate the fact that they didn't try. Nigeria is a different ballgame. Yeah. Because in Nigeria, it'd be 200 million people they chase the same dream. You can't fuck it up. And Nigeria, if you know present do, nobody go mind you. Because and funny thing is Nigeria is building an industry now where now you have director um, DPs, you have producers, you have location managers. They're building the entire industry and the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So they understand the business aspect of it because they are able to to really 
get the return on investment. They've made a, a bankable uh, industry. But in Ghana, it's a growing industry. See, one of the biggest artists all know Catch 20. Yeah. Violence. <laughs> Anyway, Why? that is a fact, yeah. man. Yeah, and then the tier one, the ultimate artists we get, there may only be three artists in Ghana. You have a Sarko there, mm -hmm. who is like the most recognized, mm -hmm. followed by um, um, a Stone Boy, Stone Boy. and a Shutter. Sh Shutter. Beyond that, the younger ones are still struggling because, you know, the industry is not helping them because the same shows, it'll be the same people, same big artists. You know, but I feel like at this point, this should headline a Kim Promise, a uh, headline a Kwesia. Headline a Black Sharif, headline an Ofer, headline a, a, a Sino Soul, you know, headline a Molly, headline an Amare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, these artists deserve it. You know, but these uh, the, our major artists, they've 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 enjoyed, but I feel like you, they also need to encourage these um, event organizers to also encourage these new artists because it builds the value proposition for the entire pipeline. You know, but, but if it's the same artist for the past ten years. The same artists you they give awards to for the past 10 years then how are we moving okay so um this is my last but one question mm -hmm. i want you to list your top five video directors in the country oh i think first and foremost would be um skyface okay reason being that if it wasn't for skyface i don't think most of these artists would have thrived because he's the guy who's been able to sacrifice for almost every major artist right and he has been able to build a repertoire work for these guys at no cost okay. you get me he sacrificed a lot right but it's for the good of the culture okay. uh, you have um um, uh, um, um a gene edu okay. who's brilliant he does aquabus videos oh, okay yeah yes I yeah gene edu is brilliant uh, you have an apag who's basically one of the best dps mm -hmm. in ghana you have an andy magite Okay. Who's, oh, yeah, who's also breaking the bias and doing well. You have a Bob's direction. Okay, Bob's. Yeah, who's also a brilliant young chap mm -hmm. doing doing amazing. Like, yeah, so I feel like there's there's the the, the you end. You don't put yourself on inside. Oh no, I know the inside. You know why? Because I you know, I wouldn't put myself in that category now because I've retired from shooting music videos. Oh. Yeah, in 2019. So the last person I shoot music video give be Amare. I shot like it fancy and spend some time for Amare. Uh, so we, we are done with music videos i will but i had to i wanted to i got so depressed why if you say the industry <laughs> yeah i got so depressed be, because you know my team and i want to do more mm -hmm. right but it'd be only from the foreign like like not to brag or nothing right i have a burner boy dming me to shoot a music video i have a tenny i decline all these ones not because i just that i'm like uh, why don't we try and build together with our own Ghana. Like we did the same with Amare, right? Amare has been the only person who has been like, yo, David, let's do something different, you know? And we work as a team, you know, because Amare has a team, also have a team, but we look at achieving results. Not be every artist you can sit with and then go see them as such. Most of the artists you they speak to them is aggressive. You know, I don't know, most Ghanaians do not have the patience in saying, oh no, yes. But they, they're always aggressive. Yo, bro, why you want to take my money to go buy a car? Mm. Yeah, so we don't find solution. I'm always like, I always tell any artist go approach me and say, I don't care about the money. Because my father taught me one thing. When you chase money, you never make money. Let the work do the talking, right? So think about it. If me and you would walk into Ferrari right now, bro, mm -hmm. we'd go with extra cash for customization. Why? Because yeah. they've been able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that is a trusted brand okay. right so how much more we the human aspect mm -hmm. so for me i've always believed with my team with the idea of okay bro make we make the work speak for itself bro if some artists pay me one cd i go make sure so that video go look like one million you know but, but it no be everybody go free take that route okay. you know Bob. so for me like i said by next year maybe hopefully you will come back. i'll probably have the morale too but i got yeah i got discouraged at some point because trying to achieve results where most of these ideas was always aggressive okay yeah it wasn't problem problem solving but i was always like oh, yeah so that'd be why okay so look now your last words where can they get the content to stream and all yeah so stuff? so look now is actually going to be like the biggest platform to support African music. It's not just made for us Ghanaians, but we're studying it because we're Ghanaians. Um, you can find our content on YouTube primarily now, and um, subsequently we're building um, other, other platforms. I'm also um, in conversations with um, 
other TV networks to be able to migrate to, to traditional media. But you know, it takes a lot of paperwork. Yeah, that's yeah but most importantly is us working with the artists as partners. Okay. You get me? Because without us, without them, we don't have an industry. You get me? So I'm looking at working with younger artists who want to be the difference we need in Ghana. You get me? And then um, it's not just going to be the look, the house show, but we're looking at docu series and other other content. And also, I'm looking at collaborating with you as well. If you have other content and if you have other brilliant ideas, yeah, I, I'm in for anything that's going to really generate something for the next future, really. Like, so if you see say, my music, uh, my videos, they there for not say the inspiration be that. <laughs> but yes, so this is the conversation I was talking about. Yes, I know you have learned, a, I mean, a 10 or two. <laughs> but yes, as he said, you know, this is a collaborative effort. Yeah. We know what we do, I'm alone. Yeah. There are a lot of things we will do together as an industry. Yeah. But if you alone want to do that thing somewhere, if your own matter be that. Yeah. So look now, they have, um, I think they have, four or three pieces of content on yeah. youtube right now yeah. subscribe to the youtube yeah. channel and they will be dropping content yeah. i know the person let, let me let me let me add this mm -hmm. so everywhere from now until maybe march or uh, or further mm -hmm. we're dropping um so we're releasing content every tuesday okay and um monday so monday we're releasing interviews of the artists okay and then on tuesday at 5 p.m we're releasing their performances Performance. yes so, so we have artists so we have a lot of artists coming okay. with some amazing joints Guys, go subscribe and consume quality content from PZ Cuzon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my name is Kojo Sheldon. This has been Nicole Say. Bro. And Charlie, me are there or my hand is shake because Charlie, this be this be the standard. This be where we aspire <laughs> to be. And blessings. You know when he shot the video for Ayat, that music video that he didn't, I think he didn't win an award and it was the conversation was like why if you there see the industry now yeah yeah no make i tell you a story <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. no make i tell you a story so mm -hmm. you see guda b was made out of love yeah bear in mind we go north we will not get money okay. we all right and it'd be a number of people wouldn't do it favors when we take pull up guda because guda trust me like i had and i it was just love you know like we didn't have money we all you know bob and we just drove to the north to try and create something. And then uh, uh, um, with the help of people in Borga, they made us bring this vision to fruition. So I want to give a big shout out to all my Borga members, all my Borga brothers, and then Ayat as well. Ayat is a brilliant artist. Yeah, and, I would like to see him. Yeah, and he's dropping his EP next year okay. titled Aisha's Son. It'd be fire. Okay. Like it'd be fire with some amazing visuals. So you guys will look out. So you are going to work we've already shot most so of you are not i mean you are still working no because ayat is a brother you know ayat is part of the so that one you yeah. can't say no oh no no i can't i can't Charlie, <laughs> we are shooting music video for now <laughs> <laughs> anyway so guys thanks for being part of um the conversation um Listen. subscribe to the youtube channel it's luke um look now look now yeah. l-u-u-k-n-o-w -W, yeah. yes subscribe and consume quality content my name is Kojo sheldon nicole say we out Kojo sheldon i'm out <laughs>